Hello guys and welcome back to next tutorial and we're gonna talk about formatting the output and uh, so far we've only been uh, printing to the uh, to the console one thing at a time and um, uh, let's look at the example um, how to do more than just one and it's just uh, some sometimes it can be pretty confusing and once you get used to it it's gonna be pretty simple so Let's have. Let's say we have two integers we want to display, and um, uh, let's say one is equals five, and then we have and y equals ten. Okay, and so if we want to display that, um, and then so we put um, <clears throat> we used to just do one at a time, and so now if you want to do two, we can't. There's many things that it just doesn't like. They're so specific about certain things. We can't just say x uh, plus 5. Um, uh, uh, I mean, or x plus y, that's what I meant. Um, it's not going to work because what it's going to happen is actually going to add x um, x to y. Um, it's going to add, uh, it's going to be 15. And uh, um, if you press it, don't believe me, uh, look at it. It says 15, it adds them together. Um, if we do a simply comma between them to print two of them at a time, it's also not going to like that. It's going to yell at us, it cannot convert from integer to string. And the, the, the reason why is because it, it prints as a string and it treats this inside as strings. Um, it likes to treat that as strings. and it, it, it can do only one at a time if it's an integer, so if we press just Y it's gonna print it but if you do two it's not gonna print so the one way to do it is we can convert um, convert um, each of them to strings first okay so we can say x dot um, to string um, and we can um, do that way and then what we can do is we can put comma between them and then we can do y um, dot to string and then we can do it that way. <clears throat> and um, in this situation, we need to close the parentheses in here. Um, and let's see what happens here. If we do that, we just it just ignores one of them. And so th then what, what happens here, we actually need to put instead of comma, here we used to put plus because what happens, it converts this to string, it treats this as a string now, it this, and then it treats this as a string and then it, it puts this plus between them and this is actually gonna work if we press F5 it see it puts 5 next to 10 and if you do wanna add space to that you can take this plus and you can um, add quotation uh, double quotes and put the space in between them and then we need to add another plus here to build the string, okay? And then now if you print this, uh, control F5, we're gonna see that there is a space between them. This is what we want. It's, it's kind of a little complicated as you see right here. It's like a uh, little too much, right? Okay, so there's another way to do it. And um, let's see, we're gonna comment this out. And the one that we're gonna use most of the time is a little different and a little bit confusing at first okay so um, we're gonna write line and inside of our parentheses um, what's gonna happen is that we're gonna build a string um, so we're gonna put our double quotes in here and um, this is inside what we want to build the string in okay so we want to do two numbers right so instead of just uh, putting the variables in there we're going to put placeholders okay and those are these curly brackets right here and then so we have two of them right so we have two numbers and then we want a space between them okay so we put a space between them now after this quote we're going to put comma and then after this we're going to put what we want to put in there and then so this is going to go x and then we're going to do comma and then we're gonna do Y. But here, one more thing before we're done with this, in this placeholders, we need to tell them what we're gonna, the order we're putting them in. And in the computers, as you know, we're not starting with one, we start with zero. So we're gonna put zero here, 
and then we're gonna put one here okay so it's a little confusing in the beginning but trust me this is um, easier than dealing with this stuff on top okay so now let's uh, press Control F5 and if I didn't make any mistakes it should print that okay so 5 space and 10 okay so this is a little confusing at first but um, we'll be able to use this more often and you'll get used to it and you're actually gonna learn to love it I did not like that in the beginning uh, I was like yeah why that you can just build the string using the spaces but uh, trust me this is much simpler um, and shorter than using this way okay and um, if we want to do <clears throat> Let's comment this out and uh, run a little more example, a little better example. If you want to do, uh, let's say we want to say, um, hey, your lucky numbers are, and print these two numbers. Okay, so let's do this console dot right line, and we do want to put our um, double quotes, and then inside we're gonna say your um, lucky numbers are, and then we want to do space. And then we want to use this curly brackets right with the zero inside for the first spot and then we want to do space say and space and then we do curly brackets and then inside we put one and then at the end we put comma and we put X we put comma we put Y and that's it okay and let's uh, print make sure this is what we want to see control f5 and your lucky numbers are 5 and 10 okay now if you would want to do this with the plus with using this um, it would be a little bit longer and again then when you do this pluses you have to kind of understand the spaces and then if you forget the space it just gonna put them together and then if you forget the plus it will give you an error so learn this way learn to use it this way and you will love it okay just it'll take a couple practices and um, it will be much simpler okay so this is how you format the multiple outputs and uh, you're gonna use uh, this a lot in your programming when you formatting the output for the user okay and I will see you in next tutorial